Hello, Colfax and Levels. This is Jason Schaefer. Um, the videos you're going to watch in a series uh, is going to talk about a few different things. Um, my beliefs, a little bit about myself, um, what's next, what's coming up, uh, what we're going to try to do together, uh, what's my plans for you guys, um, to try to give a very transparent view of what I have planned, what I want to try to do, I uh, really want to give a very uh, formative view of what I want to try to do together. Um, these sort of video updates I'm going to do as we try to work together as a congregation. Um, this is kind of what I, after watching the Changeover Zone Portico ser uh, class series, well, it's not a series, but a bunch of lessons on a Portico class um, online, that is what I decided to do. At first I had taped a 20 minute uh, video, realized that was a bit too long for anyone to really watch. Not that I didn't think anyone could, it was just I realized it would be more useful if people would have more like five minute videos that people could watch and just listen and get some insider onto what I'm thinking from me before I get started. Um, I probably won't really be doing this once we get started on the 30th, but I'm getting antsy <laughs> sitting here. But I also want to continue to spend time with uh, Emery till the 30th. But I also want to start to get to talk to you guys and get to congregate with you and uh, commune with the congregation some. I just really want to congregate with you guys a little bit. Um, if that's even a word. Uh, basically, I just want to really get to give you guys the opportunity to hear from me a little bit to help ease some of that growing pain um, because I really feel that this is one of those things that people just do not get much opportunity to deal with. Um, normally, you, you know, when, when pastors change over, it just kind of gets slapped in your face. Um, and, and that's no fault to anyone. It's just I think that it is something that we could handle more graciously if we give ourselves the opportunity to do so. I, I don't blame anyone for that. Um, since I'm taking the two months off and since the changeover has already occurred, I, that gives me the unique opportunity to send you the, these videos is what I'm saying. Um, so I just decided I'm going to do this um, for the next couple weeks. Um, I'm going to be posting these in the the, the the uh, Facebook group. Um, so the first one that you're about to listen to is going to be about um, how I kind of got started uh, basically from Tom. Um, I don't talk too much about my life really because my whole face story it's mostly just me talking about Tom because Tom is very integral to my belief system as a Methodist. He really taught me that what grace means, so I really encourage you to listen to the, the rest of this video. Well, hello, Colfax and Levels. It's uh, Jason Schaefer. You're uh, newly, I guess we could call, assigned supply. Uh, Cornerstone Ministries wants to call me their associate pastor, which I'm still semi- uh, uncomfortable with that role. I'll be more comfortable with taking that term more seriously, but you can call me pastor if you, if you would like to. Yes, you, we'll just say yes, you can call me pastor, um, pastor Jason. <laughs> um, but I'll be more comfortable with that when I finish my, uh, certified lay ministry studies in, um, January. Um, I decided to, uh, take do this video because um, I was reading and uh, doing a class on Portico called the uh, Changeover Zone. Um, it basically talks about the transition um, of the transition between pastors. Um, talks about you know the hundred days before and the hundred days after, and well, I felt like gave an example of, you know, a past, you know, 
a pastor giving a video, giving you a little bit about themselves. And while people at the PPR meeting got to meet me a little bit before I actually preached, I felt like no one else really got to meet me yet. And I felt like that this kind of just got jumped on you all and felt like that was a little unfair. Wanted to give you guys a couple of weeks to sort of chew on some words of mine um, before you actually got to hear my first sermon. So I've been reading uh, some of the things that this changeover zone talked about. Um, oh, where's my notes? It's a little bit supposed to be prepared. I was even thinking about, you know, trying to cover up the background in the back here because of how messy it is. But I like I want to be transparent with you all as your pastor. So I'm going to be transparent about my messy life. Uh you know that the, the the swing here for Emery, uh, she she likes to be my little coworker when I'm working my nine to five job. Um, all my music, my games, um, all my posters, all my notes beside me. It's it's a wreck in here, um, and this is way better than it used to be. It used to be even way worse. So. Yeah, I kind of felt like you guys got thrown into this. Um, you've probably read uh, basically a lot of my background. Uh, I started Lay Servantry back in 2017 by the guidance of Tom Shepard. Um, I, I give a lot of credit to him for getting started into this. A lot of his sermons throughout my life inspired a lot of what I do today as a Christian as a Methodist, um, he really taught me what the grace of God means, you know, sh really showing that humility and that respect to others and really showing what it means to treat others as you would want to be treated. Well, so that, that video was kind of a quick introduction. Um, of kind of my inspiration on um, the next video we'll talk about sort of my beliefs and um, from there we'll keep continuing um, <clears throat> through a few videos um, I believe this will be probably about a six seven part video series um, hopefully we'll get through all that um, so you'll notice through these videos that my shirts will kind of change up and stuff because I didn't get this all done um, originally, I was going to make this like a 20-25 minute video, and then I realized most people don't want to try to watch a 30 minute video unless they're really wanting to sit down and be invested. So I realized I should make this more short videos. Um, so that's what I decided to do. This first one's pretty long, and I realized that because I wanted to kind of explain what I'm trying to do here um, to try to, instead of making a, you know... A sprint I want to make it a marathon where I kind of talk to you guys a little bit so I appreciate you guys um, taking the time to watch this and oh hi Huey so see you in the next one